Hey guys, it's June from BuyMeAnIPhone.com and today we have the video of a comparison between the Soul Republic tracks and the Beats by Dre Solo HD headphones. I haven't done one of these in a while and they actually were very, very popular. These are actually some of my most popular videos that I've actually done. I thought I'd do another one of these because uh, a lot of people, uh, they really have sparked reaction between Beats lovers and Beats haters. So if you guys follow the channel, you guys probably know that I'm pretty critical of the Beats by Dre headphone line. Um, and I'm in, in, in the series, I've kind of been putting some of these other celebrity type endorsed headphones or more fashion oriented headphones against the Beats by Dre. And I thought that I'd do that again today. Uh, today we're going to be taking a look at the Soul Republic tracks, uh, which is actually created by the son of the founder of Monster Cable, Noel Lee. His son actually founded Soul Republic, and they are now kind of competing brands. In addition, if you guys have been watching the Olympics, these headphones are actually some of uh, been worn by Michael Phelps, uh, and a lot of people have been looking up the review of these headphones because of that. Um, so. Uh, Based on the interest on the Silver Republic headphones and the Beast Bud, I thought I'd do a comparison video uh, for you guys. Uh, so we're going to be going over a couple of aspects of the headphones themselves. Uh, so we're going to take a look at the sound, uh, the comforts, and the build quality, just the overall at just the overall package of the headphone itself, and you'd be compar comparing the two headphones against each other. So on the right here, you have the Beats by Dre Solo HD. They retail for $220 MSRP, I believe. And on the left here, you have the Soul Republic headphones, which are more than $100 less at just $100. Now, in terms of style, I think these headphones both look pretty stellar. Uh, I think they both have a very distinct, unique look. I think one of the cool parts about the Soul Republic headphones is that the drivers are actually removable, which I think is pretty freaking sweet. And the headbands are actually interchangeable, which really allow you to have your own style with the headphones. And on the right here, you have the Beats signature design. This is a very popular design. Seen very, it's very popular among my high school community. A lot of kids like these Beats. I think they look really, really nice. Uh, other than the glossy finish, I think these are a great looking pair of headphones. I think they're very stylish and among the best uh, in the market today in terms of style. But of course, style doesn't matter if the build quality sucks or the sound quality sucks. And we're going to be talking about the build quality. Now in terms of build quality, I think both of these headphones actually perform pretty admirably. Uh, the Soul Republic headphones actually, uh, as I said, come with uh, removable drivers. Uh, so you plug in the cables into the each of the drivers uh, with the cable that is actually off camera. I won't show you the cables. Um, but the cables are actually both pretty decent. Um, and then you also have this little band right here uh, that's actually indestructible. Um, you can bend this as far as you can and this thing will not break and I've put this to the test. It's pretty incredible uh, how indestructible this this headband is and I'm pretty fascinated by the type of plastic that they actually use for uh, the Soul Republics. Now into the Beats, um, you know, I've heard a lot of different variant things in terms of the Beats build quality. I've actually had a pretty good experience in terms of build quality with the Beats. A lot of people say that the Solos and the Solo HD snap right here. I haven't had any problems. I think these are actually pretty well built headphones. As you can see right here, I'm putting these to the test. Uh, I think they're very light, very, very comfortable pair of headphones. The build quality is pretty good for me. Uh, and I think they are actually excellently built as well as the Soul Republic. So it's kind of at a dead heat to this point. Um, I think they both look very stylish. Of course, that is up to personal opinion. Uh, in terms of build quality, I think both perform admirably. Probably the Soul Republic Republic's pulling ahead of just a little bit. But let's talk about the sound. And this is where the two headphones differentiate a lot. And by a lot, I mean a lot. The Beats by Dre Soul HDs, I think, are one of the most terrible value headphones out on the market right now. Um, the... The, the ba bass is really uh, what a lot of kids look for these days, and these definitely pack pack, uh, pack plenty of bass. Uh, it's actually kind of all bass, and that's kind of my major criticism criticism of these of these headphones. While the bass is there, there is a whole lot of bass. It's not a good bass. It's really lagging behind. It's very slow. It kind of ruins the track. It bleeds into the mids and the highs. Not a fan of the bass on these headphones, even if there is a lot of it. In terms of highs and mids, these headphones are absolutely crap. They sound terrible in terms of highs and mids. Uh, they may look great, they may feel great on your ears, but the sound quality is pretty terrible with these headphones. Uh, you aren't going to be able to hear the, the, the details of the music that the artist wants you to hear, and all the stuff that's on the Beats by Dre box, uh, these headphones are what the artist wants you to hear from the studio. That's complete bullcrap. These headphones sound terrible because you cannot hear any details other than the bass, and the bass is not even detailed. It is just loud, overpowering, and just kind of terrible. 
Now let's take a look at the Soul Republic, and since uh, these are $100 less, you would expect that the sound quality is not as good as the Beats by Jerez. But obviously with my Beats, uh, Beats ra uh, rant right there, I think these are definitely better sounding headphones. Now these headphones aren't going to be audiophile quality. These are more kind of fun headphones to listen to. Uh, these headphones also do pack a lot of bass, and the bass can be overpowering at times. Uh, these headphones definitely aren't for everybody. If, you, if you're looking to kind of monitor music, use it for DJ, these are probably not those headphones because these aren't quite accurate. They quite aren't. They aren't quite true to the track. Uh, the bass is there. There's a lot of bass, but it's a lot. It's it's better bass than the Beats by Dre. Uh, it's not quite as powerful, but it's going to be a lot more accurate, a lot more quick, and be able to keep up with the track. Not going to melt into the mids and the highs. And I'm sure the mids and the highs. I think the highs are actually a little bit lacking on these headphones, and that kind of disappointed me when I initially reviewed them. Uh, I think it was a little over a year ago. Uh, but these headphones, they have okay highs, you know, but they they're kind of undetailed. Uh, they're kind of warm. Uh, not the greatest in terms of detail headphones. Now the mids are actually pretty solid. Acoustic music sounds great with these headphones. Uh, rock sounds great. Rap, hip hop, they all sound great with these headphones. It, they're, they're very fun to listen to. Um, and that's not to say, you know, sound is very, very, uh, it's very, you know, it's, it really depends on the person. If you're, if you're talking to an audiophile, they're, they're going to immediately going to trash beats. Beats are completely inaccurate uh, headphones. But if you're really looking and just listening to bass, basically, just the bass in music, I guess you go for bass by Dre. We'll listen to a better all-around experience uh, and still have a lot of bass, go with the Soul Republic. Now, that's just my opinion. Let me know yours in the comment section down below. Then let me know what you think of this series. I'll be posting another one of these videos later in the week. I'll actually be heading off to California uh, next week, uh, so I won't be posting videos the whole entirety of that week. But this has been my comparison video of the Soul Republic uh, tracks and the by Grand Solo HDs. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure to leave a comment down in the description below. Uh, make sure to uh, like and subscribe. Uh, also, make sure to check out the Facebook and Twitter links down in the description below. A uh, bunch of great stuff going on there. And also head over to buymeaniphone.com. I also just recently opened a website. It's called june.me. Uh, go check that out and let me know what you guys think. Uh, that's all I have for you guys today. My name is June, and I'll see you guys in the next one.